Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one ritzel at a time, back with the boys from Convoy, and we're starting off with Dustin. How you doing, buddy? Good. How are you doing, Mike? I'm doing really well, man. So uh, last week, we once again hit the 40-year mortgage, right? The, you were the first uh, to bring the 40-year mortgage to our channel, Investors, Owner Rocks. It's amazing. You do get a lot of questions. So here is the 40-year FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions. So uh, Dustin, where should we start? So a lot, I mean, we can start with the, probably the more popular one, which is the 40 year fix that has the 10 year interest only component. Actually, you uh, know what? Let's just, let's do it this way. Let's crawl, walk, run. So you do offer a 40 year fully amortized loan, correct? That is correct. So folks, when you are doing your mortgage calculators, you're usually you know choosing 15 years, which is 180 months. You could be choosing probably most of you 30 years, which is 360 months. All you have to do is change your monthly calculation to 480 months. And that will be your payment, assuming you have the interest rate. And it's fixed. It's fixed for 40 years. No surprises. 480 payments. The next 480 months, you're good to go. It's pretty, pretty straightforward, right? Yeah, pretty straightforward. Just like you said, you just extend the term another 10 years on your amortization calculator. Awesome. So that's the easy one. And then you do offer it for owner ox and investors, correct? Correct. Owner ox and investors. Awesome. Now let's get to the one where people get all kinds of confused. This is the 480 months, so same duration. However, right. it takes the first 120 months and makes it interest only. And then it takes the remaining 360 months and makes it a fully amortized loan. That's a lot of vocabulary that sometimes confuses people. Uh, what is it? What What is this funny thing? And is it all kinds of different interest rates? It's just really confusing, Dustin. What's going on? Yeah, so the, the way that it, it works, just like you said, the first 10 years, you're only paying interest or you're only required to pay interest, okay? And if you want to, you can pay principal. And I'll lead how that affects it down the road. But the minimum required during the first 10 years is just the interest portion of the payment. Now, if you pull up your 30 year amortization table, like we were talking about, and you put in 500,000 at let's say six and a quarter, because I think that's where we're at right now around on the 30 year fix. Okay. And you look at every single month on that amortization table, just look at that first month, Yep. the very first month. And what portion of your payment is allocated towards interest? Mm -hmm. Okay. That monthly amount that you see, that is what you're paying every single month for the first 120 months of the loan. Yeah. So it doesn't, you know, lower, the payment doesn't get lowered every single month that you progress in during that first 10 years. It's going to stay fixed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Starting in year 11, you can go back to your 30 year amortization table, whatever that payment is for principal and interest. That's what you're now paying from years 11 to 40. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. Essentially what you've got is a 10 year loan. Then you've got a 30 year amortization loan after that. The key to this program is you are locking in your interest rate month one and it never changed. The interest rate, the interest rate is not, I'm going to make stuff up 5% during the IO period, interest only. And then suddenly 9% in the 30 year, it is the same interest rate fixed for 40 years. Correct. That's the nice part. And and that also confuses people because the payment does change in year 11, but the payment changes just because you're paying principal, not because the rate changes. Exactly right. Right. You're adding in that principal portion, which you have frankly ignored for the first 120 payments. But let's talk about what, what is often called recasting, because I think you brought this up earlier. Let's just say you take the 10-year IO period because you're not sure. You're seasoning the property. You got turnover, whatever it is. But let's assume you've done the math and you're making, um, you know, let's just let's pretend you're making full payments, right? Which would normally be interest and principal. At the 11 year mark, the loan recast because your balance is not no longer 500k like it would be as IO. It's I don't know what it would be after the first 10 years, maybe 380, 390, um, something like that. So again, it'll recast at 390, correct? Exactly. So come year 11. Because you're allowed to pay principal during those first 10 years, they're going to look at what is the balance on month 121. Exactly. And they're going to determine the payment on what that balance is at month 121 rather than what it was to start the loan. 
Right. So again, this, this is an important subtlety that I don't think a lot of people understand, right? So again, you pay IO for 10 years, your payment's predictable. You could do the math today. But if you go into this and you're like, hey, I'm going to I'm going to get the IO period just to be risk averse, be conservative. But I might pay off some like some principal here, some principal there, but I don't have to. What will happen on month 121 is they will recast the loan. They will basically look at the existing balance, the existing interest rate, which does not change and give you a brand new payment. Correct. That's correct. And, and recast just to make sure people understand, you know, it's not a modification. Nope. There's no fee to it. Nope. It's not refinance. Nothing's changing. Nothing it's literally changed. a maybe it takes a, a person 20 minutes to calculate that and then you'll get a new mortgage statement showing what you're paying. Yeah, it takes a computer like seven nanoseconds. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. So uh what other questions might we get on a uh, FAQ of a 40-year mortgage? Again, I think one we've talked about, but I want to hit it specifically. Is this owner rock only? Is this investor only? Is it residential only? Who who can get it? Who can't That's get it? That's a, a big one too. So the we've made it I, not as many questions about if it's owner rock or investment, but it is for both types of properties. It's only for one to four units though. So you have the people that are reaching out for five to eight, this is not available on the party name. It's not available on the eight units or more. Now okay. the five to eight unit 40 year product the rates are garbage. I'll tell you that right now. So if you're calling thinking that you're going to get rates similar to a one to four, you're not, it's, it's probably two, two and a half percent oh, higher. It's not, it's not good. Eight. No bueno. No, no, no good. There's Don't no point it. in us talking about the 40 year on the five to eight, in my opinion. Okay. And then eight and above. Basically what I want people to think about, again, this is FAQ 40 year is it's a residential product. This is a residential product. Now I know the answer to this, but I want to ask, so it's recorded. Can I house hack? a fourplex with a 40 year product. Yeah. You, Cause I, I don't need to tell the underwriter that. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter if it's owner rock or investor. So put them together. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> um, uh, any other, uh, any, any, any special fees or ec I should say extra fees because you're getting a 40 year versus 30 year, um, product. No extra fees but it's going to be in a way built into the rate. So on average, we're probably seeing if you're paying points for whatever rate that you decide to pay points for, right. And you're okay. buying down. The, rate. Uh, the 30 year is basically 0.25 cheaper. Okay. Not on rate, but in cost than the 40 year. Okay. So, you know, on a $500,000 loan, what is that? 1250, 1250 right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In closing costs. If you want to go with the 40 year instead of a 30 year. And then what's, what are the rates? Are the rates comparable today, roughly? Yeah, so it's funny because like we kind of touched on last week, I mean, this all falls in the non-QM space. Non-QM, we've gotten two or three, uh, <laughs> surprisingly, rate floors being dropped, okay? Oh, Whereas, this is awesome. Again, non-QM yeah. is stepping up. Yeah, they're, they're bridging the gap. It was a, a large spread, uh, you know, about a month ago, and it got yeah. narrower last week. And now, I mean, we obviously have had, what's the 10 year at right now? Three. Well, the, 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 uh, the 30 year mortgage. Three, was six and a, yeah. The mortgage was six and a quarter yesterday. So yeah, the average 30 year I saw was unconventional six yeah. and a quarter. We can get 40 year interest only investment properties down to six and a quarter right now. That is amazing. 40 year at six and a quarter. Yeah. Right, you it'll, gotta pay it'll points. It'll point. you'll probably, have points yeah. for sure. Yeah. But the fact that an investment property on 40 years of interest only is getting the same as a wonderful family buying their first home on an owner occupied 30 year fix is is, is it's uh, bananas. It's bananas. Yeah, very, very interesting. Let, let me just tell you everybody right now again, remember what was said earlier in the FAQ. This is a residential product. So you're not going to come here and do a 10 unit building or 20 unit building. This has got to be one to fours. If you're following my channel and you hear me talking about house hacking, this is the, this is the tool, right? Go get this, get, you know, if you want to be conservative, get the 40 year, um, man, crazy. Uh, what are kind of the prepayment penalties, if any, and something like, let's just say, let's just say for, for shits and giggles, I wanted to get a 40 year product for conservative, but I want to plan to pay it off in 30 years. Could I do that without, prepayment penalty? Yeah. The longest prepayment you'll ever see is five years on these and they're only applicable to an investment property. So if you go right. with your primary residence 
it's illegal even in the non-QM space yep. there is no prepayment penalty yeah. on a owner occupied property but on investment properties you basically get to pick between zero years and five years in terms of the prepayment term. Yeah. So if you pay it um, off at year 30, no big deal. If you pay it off at year 30 for a 40 year loan, doesn't matter. No, doesn't matter. Awesome. What other kind of questions? It appraisals the same. It doesn't change because it's the loan product. Not that. Um, what other questions do you that come up with 40 year? Yeah. I mean, like you said, the, the appraisal, everything else is the same. The only thing that people, I guess, still get, confused about is that if we do something owner occupied i need to see some sort of income right you know i need to see somebody's bank statements w2 yeah. you can do it all just like a conventional loan but i've got to show whether it's assets i've got to show personal income mm -hmm. if we go the investment property route i don't need any personal income because we're looking at the asset so that's why it kind of gets confused i think when people are asking if it applies to commercial loans because we underwrite it like a commercial loan mm -hmm. if we're doing an investment property on the 40 year. Awesome. Well, do me a favor. There's going to be a lot of people reaching out to you from one rental at a time when this video hits. How do you want them to do that? Yeah, go ahead and email us at private client at convoy And just please mention that you came from ORAT so me and John can uh, help you guys out. Yeah, here's the dear folks. Convoy's on the channel because when you reach out and you tell them you're coming from ORAT, you get one of these two guys, Dustin and or Jonathan. So thank you very much. Take care. Thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm.